CTE Pro 1 True Series Video 23 CTE Natural, Systematic, and Rhythmic Play.
I wanted to go through a few racks to highlight a point. CTE, <clears throat> once learned, is in no way a laborious, tedious, mechanical uh, process. In fact, it's quite the opposite. It's very natural. It's very systematic and it's very rhythmic. Uh, my shots for those three racks consisted of basic CTE and disguised pivoting. Perhaps you couldn't even discern the shots that I was pivoting on for basic CTE because we're programmed to see this big tight mechanical pivot and it's everything but that. It's a very natural process. Uh, for any shot, like this is a 15 outside, I just I pick up the sight line. And what's critical when you pick up this sight line is that I go down with my bridge D to the outside of the center to edge line, which is center to SP15. Now, when I place my bridge D to the outside of that line, my bridge D and my Q 
are in the optimal position to pivot to center. So I'm picking up, and this is a big confidence builder. It's a big, it's great mentally to know that for me that I can see one tick on the cue ball and one tick on the object ball. And from that position, I just step the cue ball and I get a no judgment shot line. So, the, the systematic aspect of this is that I know it's a 15 outside. I go down to the outside of the sight line with my bridge D. I absolutely am aware of the fact that that bridge D is to the outside of that sight line. It's just, it's, it's as natural and as effortless as can be. From there, I just step the cue ball by looking at the outside edge of the cue ball. And when I get that stepped line, that stepped line extends backwards. My physical intelligence is following my eyes in such a way that my bridge V is in the appropriate position so that when I pivot, I'm at center cue ball. So, Discussing CTE seems like it has so many steps that it would be impossible to do. But actually it's just the opposite of that. If you don't have something to do with your eyes and your body that's systematic at the table, then your mind can start wandering and you can start losing confidence in what you're doing because perhaps you don't even know what you're doing. There's scores of people out there that play great that cannot tell you what they're doing. Uh, so, for this 30 inside, it's just see the sight line, go down to the inside, see the perfect tick to this tick just like you're looking at a straight in. It has the same psychological positivity as that of looking at a straight in shot. So, that's great for my mind. That's what I want my mind to have. Our systematic steps along the way that uh, allow me to have confidence that I'm on track with what I'm doing. There's no time for negativity. So, when I'm standing at this shot, my nose is turned to the left, just like for Pro 1, disguise pivot. I uh, pick up the sight line, and I could do Pro 1 from here. Uh, so anyway, I just, I just go down, my bridge D is going to go to the inside of that line. I keep emphasizing that because your tendency is going to be to want to put your bridge D on the conventional shot line. It's not enough just to see the center to edge line here, which is center to SP30. You've got a couple of things to do here. See the perfect perception, center to edge, and, and you want to make sure your bridge V is to the inside. That's the perfect place for tweaking your bridge V should it need tweaking for being on the extended missile center to the back. Anyway, rhythm is the least of my concerns. Uh, my two favorite CTE approaches uh, and I like them all, and I've, I've, I've played with them all. I've played with Pro 1 for years. Uh, but my two favorite approaches that I take into competition are disguise pivoting and basic CTE. So it's just, it's a mix of the two, and that's what I've evolved into. So I uh, just wanted to cover the fact that CTE is not a laborious
process of alignment whereby you're going to stumble and shark yourself into missing balls. Certainly any time that you learn something new, you're going to go through a period of, uh, of awareness of what you're doing. You're going to be very conscious of what you're doing. You have to do that in order to put the, the, the process in place. So there's building blocks that you have to put in place. Uh, anyway, CTE can be as rhythmic, likely more rhythmic than any conventional method. Thank you for your attention.